What it is, guys! We finally got our announcement. 300 million downloads is confirmed. Now, we knew... We got information on the banner. If you haven't heard yet, I've talked about it every single day. Uh, this banner is going to be a dual Dokkan Fest with a uh, transforming cell. Goes through all the transformations. And Gohan, that transforms from Super Saiyan 1 to Super Saiyan 2. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, we don't know the full details on them. We'll, I'm sure we'll have them any day now because... We have a date for the celebration. Will the dual Dokkan Fest drop in the state? We'll see. Maybe right around that, but... The interesting thing is that's only five days after our new banner drops. You know, on, on Global, we're about to get DB Heroes. So, with some story events and all that stuff. So, I'm a little shocked it's happening this quickly. I kind of had thought that maybe we were going to have like a two-week break. But apparently, no. We're like jumping right into it with Heroes running simultaneously. Which I'm okay with. That's actually kind of hype. So... What is going on in JP, though? Because, you know, we have heroes to segue a little bit. JP's about to go dry. Well, no, they're not. They're about to get this event. They're going to get a bunch of reawakenings, starting with physical Chi-Chi. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to get a double rates waifu banner. And I'm super hesitant to call this a waifu card, but... Takes all kinds. All right, physical Chi-Chi, leader skill. And and physical types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, 70%. Super attack, causes supreme damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. Now, y'all know every card gets a quote, right? Uh, big shout out to our main man, JLX, because he's the one who actually always drops all the stuff on us, uh, drops a little bit early. He got me these, like, way earlier tonight, uh, and then DBZ Space got it just a little bit shortly after. Uh, so I'm using DBZ Space, it's a little high resolution. Uh, but JLX is always on it. He always brings us the translations and all that. But sometimes I question old boys' translations. Because, you know, when they're in the battle, they always get quotes, right? And he's telling me right now the quote on this one. And I quote. This is Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and I need to know why you're here, sir. So I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm just going to go out on a little bit of a limb, and I'm going to say... I don't think that translation is 100% accurate, my man. Bruh! Moving on. Her passive skill is attack plus 250% when performing a super attack. Attack minus 50% after three, or for three turns after receiving an attack. And defense plus... 150% if there's a Goku youth card on the team. So, weird, interesting card. Plus, she has an active skill. Now, I don't fully understand what's going on with the active skill, if I'm honest. Her active skill basically requires, like, the quote from another card. And I don't really... Sorry, I knocked the mic there. I don't really know everything that's going on there. I don't really kind of get that. I'm sure Closer 2 will kind of understand more about it. But it's it's it seems weird at the moment. Maybe I'm misreading it, but it seems weird. Her legs are going to be Battlefield Diva, The Innocence, More Than Meets the Eye, Incredible Adventure, Gets the Dragon Balls, Shattering the Limit. She's going to work on Youth and Dragon Ball Saga category. Pretty straightforward stuff. Ribrian! Int Ribrian, which is going to... Um, she's going to awaken from the uh, from the Int uh, Brian de Chateau card. Why another Ribrian? Why couldn't we just keep Brian? I don't know. Anyway, Int Ribrian. All right, leader skill: Peppy Gals or Transformation Boost category. Key plus three HP, attack, and defense one twenty percent. That's pretty good. That's actually a great sub leader. Super attack: Big Amore. Causes supreme damage and seals super attack. So she's a sealer. Okay, not a big hitter, just a sealer. Uh, passive, Explosion of Love, Bloom, Flowers Upon Appearing on the Battlefield, The Power of Love Explodes, She'll Transform Turn, She'll Transform First Turn, You Won't Be Able to, to Use Her First Form, uh, so basically, she, every, she's gonna transform into Ribrian. I have the transformation a animation, and I'll show that off here towards the end of the video. Uh, links are Female Warriors, Metamorphosis, The Innocence, 
Signature pose, more than meets the eye, turn into power, shattering the limit. Uh, Peppy Gals, Universal Survival Saga, transformation boost. Uh, now, Ripper Ann, when she transforms, super attack is pretty canon. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and seals super attack. Makes sense, that usually doesn't change. Passive. True power hidden by love. Attack and defense, 120%. Uh, further attack and defense, plus 10% for every Peppy Gals category ally on your team. Attack and defense, minus 10%. Max 30% for every Peppy Gals category ally. Wait, what? Oh. Enemies attack and defense, minus 10% for every Peppy Gals. Okay, it's, it's allies. It was written weird there for a moment. So, she gets 10% for every Peppy Gal uh, ally on the team. Your opponents will lose attack and defense, maximum of 30%, for every Peppy Girl ally on the team. So, basically, like, minus 10%, but it only counts for the first three units on the team, more or less. Um, Peppy Girl's category allies keep plus two attack and defense, 30%. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, but that's pretty hype. That's pretty hype. I'm not going to lie. That's going to make uh, no items SBR for Peppy Gal is pretty much a thing. Okay. Physical lunch. Physical lunch. So we're getting a waifu lunch card. She's brand new. She does not have a Dokkan Awakening. And a launch, L-A-U-N-C-H is the translation. Her name is freaking lunch. Get over it. Okay. Watch the Japanese. Leader skill. Peppy Girl's category. Key plus three HP attack and defense 100%. I'm sure that's going to go up when she gets a Dokkan eventually. Super attack. Machine gun. Causes spring damage and lowers attack and defense. Once again, I question my translator sometimes. He's telling me the quote when she attacks is going to be, I only watch Dragon Ball Z who dis. Something tells me I need to fire my translator. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think we're going to have an opening shortly for a new translator. <laughs> we'll keep online for the data mining, but we'll like, just give us the raw Japanese and we'll have we'll have somebody else translate it. Just we'll stick to what you, Sometimes my man, a JLX, I'm going to talk to you here. We're going to have a heart to heart for a moment, all right? Sometimes we got to stick to our strengths, all right? It's not it's not me, it's you. Moving on. <laughs> uh, her passive skill. Attack and defense 100%. Key plus 3 and a further 50% attack. And a high chance to perform a critical hit. And perform an additional attack. And high chance to steal super attacks. Whoo! For 5 turns from the start of a battle. That is busted. What the? Hold up. Hold up. Passive skill, one-sided demand. Attack and defense, 100%. Key plus three and a further attack, 50%. And a high chance to perform a critical hit and perform an additional attack. And a high chance to seal super attacks from five turns from the start. I feel like there's something missing there. That's worded weirdly, but I'll take it. Maybe that's when performing a super attack. I don't know. That's weird. Or maybe that's when she's the first attacker in a turn. I don't know. That's worded strangely, but we'll see what happens with that. That's busted. Old girl here is busted. Uh, damn. Global, we need her. We need her for real. Uh, links are Battlefield Diva, Flea, Metamorphosis, Berserker, Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Categories. Peppy Girls and Dragon Ball Saga. Okay. Now, we finally got the Waifu Oceanus Shenron, and that's kind of awesome. Because, well, anyway, my perversions aside. Leader skill. Uh, Shadow Dragon Saga, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense 100%. Super attack. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and seals attack, which is awesome because, you know, the R1 seals attack too, so... And I assure you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, these units are all going in the general pool after this uh, after this banner is over. So, 
another really good sealer. That that card for lunch though is busted. We'll 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 see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, everyone's screaming new meta, new meta, new meta. I I weird weird way that's that's yeah. Uh, so cost supreme damage, seal super attack. Quote. Uh, My translator just posted the lyrics to Under the Sea. Um, if y'all haven't watched The Little Mermaid, A, what's wrong with your lives? B, once again, um, if anybody out there could translate uh, Japanese to English, we have an opening in our Discord now. Um, the pay is as competitive as the Discord gets, i.e. you're going to be working for literally nothing and you're going to get absolutely no appreciation for it. Um, in fact, I have no clue why anyone would do this, but... I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm just saying. So apparently... <laughs> old girl sings under the sea, and then... Does a super attack. Passive! Rotational power. Keep plus two. Attack and defense. One, plus 100%. If the targeted enemy is either attack down or defense down status, additional attack 50%, uh, perform an additional attack. If the targeted enemy is in the sealed status, gain a high chance to stun. Hold up. So she seals and then stuns? If her second... So follow me here. If I'm reading this right... It's real talk. Follow me for a moment. So keep plus two, attack and defense... 100%. So she's going to get a super attack, right? It's just the way it's going to work. If the targeted enemy is either in attack down or defense down status, lower her atta lower attack or lower defense before, you before she attacks. She'll get an additional 50%, but she'll perform an additional attack. So the first attack, she will seal. Guaranteed. If I'm reading this right, if she does a second attack... She's also going to stun. If that's effective in the same turn, that's busted. Her and Lunch are crazy broken. What the f... Anyway. Lynx, Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis, Cold Judgment, Shadow Dragon, Speedy Retribution, and GT. Categories are Shadow Dragon, Saga, and Peppy Girls. Peachy Peachy Girls. Um, I'm not going to say what the translation is. Uh, yeah, that's... I've never been hyped for a waifu card before. Like, legit. Like, I always joke and we make dirty old man jokes here, but... Uh, those two cards busted. Those two, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I'm pretty psyched about that. Pretty damn psyched. So, uh, takeaway is pretty much 300 mils coming and all that. I do have some super attack animations. This is for Ribrian. This is her transformation. I don't seem to have her super attack. This is just the transformation she's going to do. Looks alright. It's not groundbreaking by any stretch of the imagination, but it looks okay. The animation's a little choppy, but... We've seen better, but we've definitely seen worse. This is the super attack animation for Oceana Shenron. Not bad. Uh, once again, could be better, could be worse. Um, with what she does as a card, I think any like questionable stuff going on in her uh, super attack is just kind of acceptable. Uh, once again, though, I'm I can't read Japanese. Like this just looks like scribbles to me, but. I don't know. Is is that what the Japanese, like, quotation is for? Like, I don't remember there being two exclamation points in, like, there's almost two exclamation points in, in my, my video titles, but in Under the Sea, I don't remember. Maybe she's singing some, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's watch this one more time. You go, girl. Damn! And finally, lunch with Super Attack. She's going to cap him. Are you serious? I mean, it makes sense. 
It makes sense. Though you'd think if it was like Dragon Ball, they'd be shrugging off the bullets, but... Which, once again, got retconned in, uh, in Super. So, interesting stuff. Let me know if you guys are hyped for these cards, because I personally am. I've never been hyped for a waifu card before, but... To me, this is something a little bit different. And their new... Their stuff is... Their passives are pretty crazy. Real talk, so... That's going to be the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow my Birdman. Hit me up on Booker. I'll be back with more Doka Battle and lay your asses out in just a little bit. We got more coming up. We got a lot more coming up.